Imagine a world where vegetables grow without soil, where fish waste becomes plant food, and giant farms run on sensors, not farmers. This is not science fiction. It's real, and it's happening right now in China. Welcome to the future of farming, where fish and plants live in harmony, where zero chemicals are used, and where you can grow tons of food using less land and water. This cutting-edge system is called aquaponics, and China is turning it into a food-producing powerhouse. But how does it actually work? How much food can it grow? And is this the end of traditional farming as we know it? Let's dive into the story of China's high-tech farms that could change how the world eats forever. In recent years, the global population has exploded, and so has the demand for food. Traditional farming is under serious pressure. It uses too much land, water, and chemicals, and it's harming the environment. That's why China is moving toward a smart and sustainable solution. It's called automated aquaponic farming. These farms stretch across thousands of square meters and work almost entirely without human hands. So what is aquaponics? It's a clever way of combining two systems, fish farming, aquaculture, and plant growing without soil, hydroponics. In this closed loop system, fish waste becomes fertilizer for plants, and the plants clean the water for the fish. Everything works in balance. Here's how it functions. Fish are raised in large tanks. Their wastewater, which contains ammonia, is transferred to grow beds. Special bacteria break that waste down into nitrates, perfect plant food. Plants absorb the nutrients and clean the water. That water is then pumped back to the fish tanks, clean and ready for reuse. No dirty runoff, no water wasted, and no need for chemical fertilizers. This system grows a variety of crops like lettuce, tomatoes, and kale. At the same time, fish like tilapia, catfish, and grouper thrive in a clean, stable environment. What's amazing is that these farms don't need to replace the water. The only water lost is from evaporation and plant absorption. It's an extremely efficient method, especially in regions where water is scarce. But there's more. These futuristic farms don't rely on manual labor. They use advanced tech including electric temperature control systems to keep ideal conditions, automated fish feeders, so the fish stay healthy without constant checking, sensors to track humidity, pH, and water quality in real time, automatic pumps to move water between fish tanks and plant beds. Everything is monitored and optimized by machines. The result? 30% less farming costs compared to traditional methods. One farm in Chongqing, China, is a perfect example. It covers 4,000 square meters and operates inside a greenhouse made of strong steel frames. Instead of large open fish ponds, it reuses the same water again and again, greatly saving on water costs. The results are stunning. Up to 6 tons of fish and 30 tons of vegetables every year. That's five times more profit than a regular farm of the same size. And because the produce is grown without chemicals or pesticides, it's labeled organic. That means higher prices, and many products are sold directly through e-commerce platforms. The farm doesn't need middlemen or huge distribution centers. This creates a massive opportunity to feed cities more efficiently and even export clean, safe food around the world. Another major benefit of this model is its sustainability. These farms use less land, recycle water endlessly, lower carbon emissions, especially when powered by solar or wind energy, reduce the need for harmful fertilizers and pesticides. Plus, the model can be expanded to include other animals like chickens, ducks, or rabbits, creating full mini ecosystems within one farm. The result is a closed and self-sufficient loop where food is grown with minimal input but maximum output. What makes aquaponic farms even more powerful is their flexibility. They can be built in rural zones or urban cities, even on rooftops or in abandoned warehouses. In fact, not every farm needs to cover thousands of square meters. This model scales up or down depending on the space and budget. Small versions work well in tight spaces while larger setups can support entire communities. But of course, nothing this advanced comes without its challenges. The biggest hurdle? Startup cost. 
Setting up an automated aquaponic farm is not cheap. You need fish tanks, row beds, pumps and water pipes, monitoring systems, electrical controls, greenhouse materials, backup power systems. This tech can cost a lot up front, sometimes hundreds of thousands of dollars. But here's the catch. Once the system stabilizes, costs drop fast. Operating expenses are much lower than traditional farms. No fertilizer bills, minimal water costs, fewer workers needed, and profit starts flowing in quickly. The second challenge is balance. Fish and plants are different creatures. Fish need clean water with low nitrogen. Plants need nutrient-rich water with nitrogen. Finding the sweet spot where both grow well takes some practice. You need skill. You need to understand water chemistry. But once you get the hang of it, the system runs almost on its own. Now, while China is advancing aquaponics at scale, something interesting is happening across the globe. Let's jump for a moment to the United States, but not for fish and vegetables. Let's talk about Christmas trees. Yes, those lush green pine trees, decked out with shimmering lights and festive ornaments, have become the unmistakable symbol of the holiday season. You spot them everywhere in December. They're in cozy living rooms, shining behind storefront windows, and lighting up street corners in every town and city. But here's something most people don't think about. Where do all these Christmas trees actually come from? Believe it or not, Christmas trees are part of a massive global industry. The business is worth more than $7 billion worldwide. In the United States alone, there are more than 15,000 farms dedicated entirely to growing these trees. Every year, Americans purchase between 25 and 30 million Christmas trees. That level of demand fuels an entire seasonal economy, creating over 100,000 jobs during the peak months. These jobs range from nursery care and tree shaping to harvesting and nationwide delivery. States like Oregon, North Carolina, Michigan, and Washington are the giants of Christmas tree production. Their climates and soil are ideal for growing evergreens. But here's the part that might surprise you. Each of those beautiful trees you see in December took years to grow. Most trees take 6 to 10 years to reach market size. Some take even longer, especially the larger ones you see in public squares or shopping malls. So next time you see a Christmas tree glowing with lights, remember, it's not just decoration. It's the final chapter of a journey that started nearly a decade earlier on a quiet farm nurtured by skilled hands and changing seasons. So whether it's futuristic farms in China using fish to grow vegetables, or decades-old traditions in the U.S. with pine trees growing for Christmas, one thing is clear, farming is evolving. Some are using robots and sensors. Others are preserving nature and tradition. But both are working toward the same goal, feeding and serving a growing world sustainably. If this amazed you, hit like, subscribe, and drop a comment telling us, would you eat food grown using fish waste or cut your own tree on a farm? Thanks for watching and stay curious.